Greetings, radiant, awakened warriors of the new earth, the illuminated rainbow warriors of the new Eden, rainbow tribes of the new earth, rising up, waking up, shining your lights brightly into the night. We had another powerful 24 hours of higher dimensional waves coming in. We were feeling the fire of the transfiguration, the transmutation, the great rapture that is occurring through the field, through this realm, and through our sacred vessels, the temples of the great spirit. Today is a powerful day. Kin 88, the 88 Lion's Gate, the Lyra Nation, the 88 Portal of the Royal Lions of Lemuria 5. And remember, beloved beings of light, be still and know that I am God. For it is the I Am Presence that is God in action, in motion, the stillness within movement, the kingdom of heaven within which is everywhere, the still center, the still white magnetic light at the center of all things, shining brightly, eternally, infinitely. This is the power of our conscious co-creation of heaven on earth. And consciously and courageously we step into the divinity of our glorious and sacred birthrights of the wayshowers, of the warriors of the new Eden living from the heart center, the Christ conscious beings of light, the love that is the Christ that is here now forevermore creating the eternal bliss consciousness through our true heart's delight activated through the I am presence that is here now in this sacred vessel, the body of Christos, 73 coming in right now, 37 into 73, heaven on earth, a whole. Today we uploaded day 32 of our 33 days of discourses of the I Am Presence of Saint Germain and Jesus Christos. For our patrons, you can check this out on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. And for all of you conscious beloved beings of light that are not part of our Patreon group, you can check these out. This 33 days, we have one more day, but due to the hard work and effort of Divine Bro, Star of the Light, Aladdin in Vietnam, anchoring in the codes, you can start viewing the 33 days on TETCLegacy.com. There is no fee or charge. All you have to do is put in your name and email, and you'll be sent a link on to how to log in and view these 33 days. Tomorrow we finish, and then a special gift on the 34th day, 33 days of the power of manifestation through the I Am Presence. We had some powerful white blasts of light of the higher frequencies coming in, appearing on the Schumann charts with a 46 hertz, mirror of 64, the 64 codes, the 64 codons of the matrix, la matrica, the divine water. We also had a 22 hertz manifestation and an update from Divine Sister of the Light, S.A. Smith. Schumann spiked overnight, bringing in big upgrades and lucid dreams. Did you feel it? Big upgrades came in with the energies. A lot of heart chakra energy, hot and cold sweats, not a lot of sleep, but when you did sleep, the dreams were very vivid. Fatigue was big too during the evening. It was a powerful spike. How did you experience it? Any new knowings or understandings? How are you feeling today? Bright and shiny or tired and tainted? Either way, it's an amazing Friday to be a light worker. Exciting times, divine ones, from a girl in the universe.com. And yes, we felt these powerful energies coming in with the higher heart, the higher thymus activations, heart palpitations, the fire coming in, the fire of divine goddess, the divine feminine, the Lemurian energy. Especially with the ring of fire, we had 153, 153, 1.5 or greater, 15, 15 of the 6, 6. The most powerful, again, southeast of loyalty islands, the loyalty of the royals that are with us now, 5.9, the 14 into the 5, many activations. So many powerful openings, activations around the ring of fire again today, starting in this morning, Nicaragua, 4.8, the 12, the Divine Goddess, and Russia, 4.5, and this was 
right on the border of Russia, Mongolia, by the most sacred lake, Lake Baikal, and Hovzgo Nor, Nor, the sound of light of the Mongolian shamanic tribes of the New Earth. We had a 4.9 again in Kermadec, the 5.9 in Loyalty Islands, Argentina, South America, Sacred Andes Mountains, the Kundalini of Pachamama, 202, there's the 22 again. Kilometers depth, 4.5 magnitude. We had another 4.9 Southeast Loyalty Islands. New Zealand again today, 5.1. Mexico, 4.6. Taiwan, 4.3. Alaska, 3.1. Greece in the Sacred Portal, 5.6. 4.4 Southeast Asia. Papua New Guinea, 5.1. 4.1 in Greece again. Chile, South America, 4.7. Guam. On the Ring of Fire, 4.8, New Zealand Ring of Fire, 4.9, Fiji, 4.3, New Zealand, 4.8, Indonesia, 4.6, 171 kilometers depth, Philippines, 5.1, Macedonia, Sacred Portal had multiple activations today, 4.6, 4.2, Dominican Republic, 3.5, Indonesia, 4.6, another 4.9, Kermadec, and then Mariana Islands, 4.9, 13.13, of the 44, Iceland, powerful activation, 4-6, Idaho, 3-4, and United States, Indonesia, 4-3, Fiji, 4-4, four, four. another 5-1, Kermadec, Greece, another activation, 4-1, and then in the heart of Lemuria today, Hawaii, 3.4, 3-3, three, three. Odessa, Texas, 3-2, Kermadec Island, 4.8, many, many powerful activations through these releases transformations transmutations of gaia's ascension as we ascend with her we are all in this great awakening together we begin today again with the sabian symbols right now the moon at 20 degrees 57 minutes pisces the sun at 22 degrees 54 minutes pisces the current Sabian symbol for the moon, 21 degrees Pisces. A little white lamb, a child, and a Chinese servant. The current Sabian symbol for the sun, at 23 degrees Pisces. A materializing medium, giving a seance. From astrologyweekly.com And now today, my sacred condor pulled another card from the deck, the tarot deck, your path through the enchanted forest. From Lunea, Weatherstone, my sacred condor pulled a card for all of you, and today the card she pulled was Seeker of Visions. The Seeker of Visions returns every day to this forest lake, where once he caught sight of a woman more beautiful than his most beautiful dreams. From that moment on, his heart was in thrall, dazzled by sunlight on the water and confused by mist that rose as if by magic. It seemed to him that she transformed herself into a fish and disappeared below the surface of the lake. He plays his harp and sings with the voice of an angel, hoping to lure her back, hoping for one more glimpse of the glimmering girl who captured his imagination. If this card doesn't represent a particular person, it can mean unrequited love, a sense of spiritual purpose, or a desire for a more artistic life. Character traits, idealistic, romantic, visionary, poetic, gallant, follows his heart, Prince Charming. Shadow traits, a seducer, doesn't commit in relationships, unrealistic understanding of love, prone to flights of quixotic fantasy, not grounded in reality. And now today from our divine Kahuna, the Huna Nation, Bro Star of the Light, Mauta Taki. 1622 44444 Stargate 17 Kumara Hummingbird 24D Purple Hummingbird Tirani Motu Angelic Frequency Upgraded Mission Complete 0909 Planet Huna The 99 Star Nation The 9910 Gree The Sky Beings most powerful thunder beings with us now for this great transformation, this great awakening, the ascension of all living beings of light, the quantum leap of consciousness. Planet of light in action, planet Huna, Gaia is now in the once was, 
including its Akashic, level up and align to the greatest light and greatest love of all, planet Huna, from HOH.Earth. Ho! Aho! Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel, the new vital life force. I am inspired. I am filled with awe and wonder. My soul songs are bursting forth as I see what is unfolding. For indeed a new vital life force is now entering, which is lifting us ever higher into the new earth and the new existence. And it is indeed an exuberant life force, such as we have never experienced before. I now understand why the work being done now on our old spinal columns was so important, as the new spinal column is forming for the new embodiment. A few years ago I had a conversation with a Cairo practitioner, a friend, and he was sharing with me why the spinal column was so important. Indeed, in the unborn child, the spinal column is the last which is formed. It is indeed what holds the whole physical embodiment upright. I am now made aware of immensely powerful energies being transmitted into us to prepare us for the new embodiment, and this goes through the new spinal column forming as well as deep release within the old spinal column. I cannot find adequate words to describe this, but what I am being shown is that the old spinal column is being released, the old embodiment. It is cleared of all which has been before as the new then will replace it completely, just like we need to let go of the old embodiment in its entirety, and the old personas, the old egos, all which we thought once defined us. This is immensely freeing. It means that we are now stepping into a totally new life and freedom, such as we've never experienced before in the old earth. It literally means being a young eagle, and then for the first time, as we are being kicked out of the nest, find our wings and fly. As we now fly into the new earth, we need to explore, to soar higher and higher, until we become the powerful and most masterful embodiment in our new form, indeed live the truth of our soul with great love. What a gift! A new life, a new beginning, a new embodiment. What a blessing, what an opportunity, what a life. From JudithKusel.com, today from Divine Sister of the Light, Sandra Walter. Equinox Preparation, Stargates Open Friday. Blessings, beloveds. Gateways typically include solar alignments and activity. Some can be galactic or universal alignments. Some stargate alignments trigger intense upgrades for our ascension. This equinox passage is presenting as a quantum opening into a new way of being. The Aquarian age may be an outdated term. However, the deeper meaning of the new paradigm, the next level of human expression, the ascension of willing and prepared hearts, is about to reveal a higher purpose. The stargates that are about to align and unlock are responsible for new collective realities, new harmonic sequences in our crystalline DNA, 1333 coming in, and a level of quantum awareness that we have not been able to maintain as a collective until this moment. These are called the Aquarian stargates because they usher in a new era of our collective experience. Aquarian stargates will initiate consciousness shifting zero point codes for over a month, surreal frequencies, new harmonics, and a sense of impending changes are present. The last two weeks of continuous geomagnetic storms and Schumann spikes have been preparing the fields and grids for this influx. Gaia's magnetic fields feel wavy or shaky. Personally, I feel like I am floating, less density, less gravity. Take note of the global magnetic effects. More cosmic objects are penetrating our atmosphere. Elementals are more intense. Storms intensify. The veils thin. Harmonics increase in volume. Revelation is more consistent. And the living library within Gaia and our DNA is unlocked. Quantum awareness of interacting with the cosmic fields. Many are reporting bliss states, divine neutrality, multi-layered tones and pressure changes, and the weightlessness of DNA and light body activation. Perhaps the most noticeable is the shift in perception. You can feel your brain, heart, and perception up-leveling to expanded multidimensional awareness. This equinox passage brings a unique attunement for quantum awareness. It will take a good amount of integration, meditate often on zero point, release, recode, reveal, 
Notice the expansion of your heart field. Take your crystalline DNA out on the land for physical gain and grid work if guided. Sunspots are building already. Preparing for plasma releases and flares, these gateways open March 12th and flow for an entire month. Equanimity is opportunity. The grids and fields are being saturated with new harmonics and crystalline plasma. Many hear and feel it over the last few weeks. These harmonics are playing our DNA like a symphony, activating the etheric fields, strands, to produce new realities with your conscious direction. Prepare to receive intense frequency shifts. Detox, reset with a fast, decree, meditate, get in nature, clear your space and crystals. A beautiful passage to begin something new. Take action on a new creation and release what feels dense or cumbersome. Gate and grid keepers. We open Friday, March 12. Gaia needs us to be present and unified. To hold the freedom codes, strong is the global narrative shift. Connect to your own truth, to the source within the heart. This is a passage of sovereign wisdom and releasing of outdated narratives. Divine neutrality holds the sacred covenant of oneness as the highest truth. Quantum free will steps forth, operating in the highest interest of all concern, implementation of cosmic law in alignment with love and oneness. Quantum grace is embodied as divine presence, kindness, patience, and balance across all aspects of self. Maintain the higher perspective as these energies flip global narratives. Avoid distractions, focus on learning to be an aligned creator. Be the witness to the truth of your heart's desires, sending divine love light, strength, peace, and victory to all. Let us show humanity what is possible with ascension. In love, light, and service, Sandra Walter from SandraWalter.com Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. Success is here for your union. Your counterpart has been fully removed from the matrix and separation. You will be happily surprised when you meet them for the first time as God's chosen child for your covenant union. Now it is time for you to complete freeing yourselves for union. This transition of finding the seed point of your soul as an embodiment of the divine feminine Christ is happening into Taurus season 2021. This is the Queen Bee, Divine Feminine Christ, Cosmic Creator Self, that you are restoring for your milk and honey union. Your celestial self is one and done. This is imminent and has begun. Victory is here, as all that is not serving your new beginning, fresh healed, and whole is being removed. This is your karmic DNA that is being restored to the equilibrium point, bringing forth neutrality in your union, Birthing of this in the physical is completing what is already done in the ethers. As above, so below. The womb chakra, your chalice, is completing. The distorted mother entity is being removed for your full remuneration and restoration. When you create, no man can take. You only serve Yahweh, and this truth has been shown to the devil. The end of cycles, curses, karma, and contracts with the devil is here. God has you both protected for remuneration. Nothing can harm or take from the Holy Grail again, beloveds. This is told and shown. All praises to the Most High in Jesus Christos' name. Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames, today from Sparks of Divine Light Healing. We are already feeling tomorrow's new moon in Pisces. On the 13th, this is a great time to tap into the spiritual energies. It's an amazing time to manifest or to be making your own magic. This Pisces new moon is bringing with it a sort of cosmic reset. Expect a massive surge of energy with it. The next few weeks will be powerful energetically. We are also completing a cycle as we prepare for the next week's spring equinox. This is an amazing time to set some intentions or to start something new. While you won't see this moon, you'll feel it. This new moon will bring an Aquarius and Pisces stellium. The Sun, Moon, Venus, and Neptune will all be in Pisces. This combination of energy will be bringing through a lot of heart chakra activation. It also will be bringing a lot of healing. This is an amazing time to work on relationships. This is supposed to be the most romantic week of the year. It's time to go deeper with love. 
These energies are meant to be bringing balance to the masculine and feminine. It's also an amazing time to cleanse and clear more through working on forgiveness and cutting of past cords. Expect any unresolved past issues to surface to be healed during this time. The equinoxes are a time to honor your ancestors. It's a time when we can connect with other dimensions. The veil is really thin right now. Really tune into the magic and messages coming through. Expect a ton of ascension codes this equinox. These energies are bringing a ton of spiritual upgrades with them. These energies are also showing you in which ways you can be of service. Pay extra attention to any great ideas you're having right now. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing dot com, and today from Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Elise, Gaia Daily, March twelfth through fifteen, Planetary Initiation. The Sun is conjunct Neptune. Venus is catching up and will be coming up to Neptune this weekend. We are feeling the energy of a new start with this new Moon in Pisces. It is time to claim back the magic into our lives. The stars and planets agree as we head into the March equinox and rebirth of the zodiac. Mercury will be exiting his retrograde shadow this week and moving into Pisces early next week, completing his Aquarian retrograde adventure. It was a little bit of a rough go with all those squares with Black Moon Lilith, forcing us to face all the dark that is keeping us from more light in our lives. With all this Pisces energy, we are trying to make sense of our reality. The Sun and Venus coming together is saying it's time to dream a new one. We are just starting to feel the Sun-Venus conjunction which will last close to three weeks. This is shining the light on our feminine side and offering us a powerful initiation of confidence to shine as who we really are, whole and complete. The forgotten, shamed, and cast aside parts of all of us are being invited home to heal. A healthy balance of masculine and feminine energies are required for us to move forward in our evolution. When the feminine is honored and valued, the whole world flourishes. And now, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Venus and the sun will pass over the Aries point of rebirth together. The purified feminine in all of us must take her rightful place on the throne. It's time to rise again from the ashes of your life, leaving behind all that no longer serves and step exalted into the light of your true self from adrianelise.com and today from here in the moon astrology friday march 12 2021 everything i've ever let go of has claw marks on it david foster wallace moon dark and year dark today we are cocooned in the velvety blackness of the dark of tomorrow's pisces new moon the monthly moon dark time and each year the time from the new moon in Pisces to the new moon in Aries can be seen as the zodiacal year's twelfth house phase, its balsamic phase, the moon dark time of the entire annual astrological cycle. These cyclical moon dark times also occur in your life whenever a planetary phase is ending, such as the period just before your Saturn return, Chiron return, Jupiter return, or the progressed full and new moons. However short or long it delivers a period of wintering, of disillusion, of going deep within and allowing yourself to float on the river of time. If you master the art of conscious wintering, you learn to collaborate with the dying of the old, the outworn, the tattered disguises, and to midwife the fertile new psychic growth into the light. In our outer-focused Western culture, we are not taught to recognize and honor these organic cycles, and so we override them, often at a huge personal cost in terms of stress and burnout. Winter is not the death of the life cycle, but its crucible. As the dying days of the astrological year approach, recognize that you're at a threshold, ending one cycle while anticipating a new one around the corner. Your physical, mental, emotional, and etheric bodies are tired. Your clarity and focus are waning. Take some quiet time to reflect on what and who you are naturally and unconsciously withdrawing from and what and who is withdrawing from you. To notice which old sources of joy are drying up and critically which new ones you must learn to recognize. How do you receive the message? You stop resisting. You simply let it in. 
from here in the moon astrology.co.uk today from divine sister of the light leah whitehorse lua astrology moon and pisces square the nodal axis venus and pisces semi sextile jupiter and aquarius we're wading deeper into the ocean now as the tide pulls us towards tomorrow's new moon as luna disappears we're caught in a cross current do we return to the safety of the shore or do we swim further out dive for pearls make for the misty island on the horizon tread water for a moment wait until you feel an inner tug pulling you in the right direction the aspect between venus and jupiter is full of promise not overblown stories of extravagance and glitter but something sweeter and more real here are the small joys that are present in every day the giggles with a friend a small token of affection gifts that arrive through cyberspace beautiful art that inspires it's about gratitude for cosmic kisses that find their way to us through meaningful experiences and coincidences there is so much to be thankful for from leahwhitehorse.com today from the zolkin times kin 88 yellow planetary star planetary is the name for the number 10 and its keywords are perfect manifest and produce the tenth day is special because the ten is a perfect score a great day for manifesting what you need expect perfect results this is also a portal day which suits the number ten and its manifesting qualities as portal days manifest opportunities today is yellow star and its keywords are beauty elegance and art these days are all about shining like a star indulging in art and beautifying your world they're seldom serious days and there is no rocket science involved when trying to figure out its meaning appreciate the beauty around you celebrate your loved ones for love is a beautiful thing wear something pretty put flowers in your hair or give flowers to someone make your home or workspace more pleasing on the eye you get the idea as it is a planetary day it's a perfect day for shining like a superstar today from divine sister of the light christina papa giorgio yellow planetary star kin 88 12 march 2021 perfecting art 12 3 2021 equal 12 3 2 2 1 equal 3 3 2 dash 3 equal 3 3 5 equal 3 8 equal 11 equal 2 12 acquiring knowledge strength 3 holy spirit joy creativity 5 freedom liberation change transformation 8 abundance infinity source flow 11 portal gate polarity 2 twins partners cooperation kin 8 8 equal double abundance equal 16 7 magical spiritual code galactic activation portal day a powerful manifesting day of infinite beauty and abundance well folks ready set go it's a magical manifestation day we have a galactic activation portal day adding another level of intensity to the day so we have a huge portal day plus yellow star is a portal and we have the planetary code too meaning we have a huge planetary portal presenting today atop the brilliant numerology codes of divinity happiness joy and abundance the intensity of blue storm coupled with the aquarius stellium makes for another revolutionary day blue storm is coupling with the celestial bodies to bring forth phenomenal planetary transformation day 10 in the blue storm wave spell of purification cleansing transformation and evolution today is a day of perfecting producing and manifesting great change the culmination of the build-up of all the energy over the last ten days to be used for manifestation we can create a new blank canvas on which to paint our new reality so today we have great alchemical powers at our disposal the ability to focus on what we wish to transform on any level personal collective and planetary today is shaping up to be a spectacular stellar day tone of creation planetary tone 10 in the physical realm action produces power perfect essence manifestation the tenth stage of the blue storm wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more it is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor 
The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality, and our lives begin to reflect the great dreams that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with Pachamama and spirit today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness, and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Nova Gaia, as we are all one heart. Today we are perfecting the manifestation of our beautiful life. A very great day. Kin 88 last occurred nine months ago on the 25th of June 2020, the day of the super blood full moon lunar eclipse with both the sun and moon at zero degrees in Aquarius, the day of the great reset. That eclipse also aligned with three stargates connecting to Sirius, the Pleiades, and for the first time ever the great cosmic central sun at the center of our universe. So today we revisit that gateway and link to this potent day through the coding of Kin 88. This is another huge gift weaving a beautiful tapestry in our new harmonic matrix of creation. Today's question is what beautiful new world can I perfect in my manifestation of planetary peace, harmony, and abundance for all beings? So precious hearts, today is a day that bestows great planetary transformation that will enable us all to truly shine as the beautiful golden star blossoms that we are, divine blessings for producing beautiful art on the blank canvas of our planet. In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 88, Yellow Planetary Star. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to beautify, producing art, I seal the store of elegance. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of intelligence. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this most powerful day of awakenings, ascension, transformations, and transmutations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing what you're seeing, your visions, your dreams, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to thank everyone for supporting us on this great mission through your pledges on Patreon and your donations. We rely on these for our daily living expenses. There were no new pledges or donations today, so we want to thank all of you for your continued support. We appreciate and are grateful for all of you supporting us on this great mission together. If you'd like to support our work and mission of the lineage of the Eagle Condor, the legacy of the Empire of Love, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. We also have a link in the description if you'd like to make a one-time donation to our PayPal account. We are truly grateful for all of you that are supporting us on this great mission together. Now I'd like to also thank everyone for supporting my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. I'd like to thank Divine Angels of the Light Angela Martin and Jody Salvetti for purchasing the beautiful goddess totems from my queen. They are on their way, bringing with them the codes of divine union, divine love, and divine abundance. So thank you all for supporting her. She's also working on some beautiful healing bracelets made out of beautiful, precious elemental stones from Pachamama, which should be up. On her page in the next couple days, she has a couple new goddess totems from a few days ago, so you can check these out at lunagoddessart.com. Now I'd like to finish today's transmission with a powerful divine decree, which was from today's discourse of day 32, from Iesus Christus. I am the open doorway which no man can shut. Your mighty I Am Presence is the truth, the way, and the life. Your mighty I Am Presence is the light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. 
Your mighty I am presence is your directing intelligence, your exhaustless sustaining energy. Your mighty I am presence is the voice of truth, speaking within your heart, the light enfolding you in its luminous presence, your eternal belt of protection through which no human creation can pass, your eternal reservoir of exhaustless energy which you can release at will through your conscious charging. Your mighty I am presence is the fountain of eternal youth and beauty which you can call into action and expression in your human form today. Your mighty I am presence is your resurrection and the life of your body and of your world of action into that perfection which the heart of every human being so much desires. So beloved beings of light, thank you for joining us on this great journey together. Keep shining your light brightly into the night. Keep living and activating your mighty I am presence through your divine heart center, through the threefold flame that is fully ignited, the fire from within which burns all that no longer serves all imperfections to reveal the perfection of your source, of your life, of your light that is here now shining eternally into the field, into the void, manifesting our true heart's delight. We do this collectively on a conscious level. It is through our I Am Presence that together we manifest heaven on earth, the new earth, the new Eden, the new Jerusalem, into the golden age of eternal life. This is the true heaven, the paradise found. This is the paradise this realm was meant to be. But it was up to us through the expansion and experience and the experiment of what it felt like to be lost, what it felt like to be separate, what it felt like to suffer for us to resolve all things in the unborn mind of Buddha, the great spirit, the great mystery, through the I am presence which is God in action, and we consciously, together, one mind, one heart, one love, together, I am that I am. I am creating my world of infinite perfection and paradise for all sentient beings of pure consciousness, of perfect, pure awareness, forevermore. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.